Look at this real test, real live. But look, I'm getting even better speeds now. Fantastic. I've got an Invisigig and right there. And I'm going to test indoors behind this giant door inside a bunch of metal stuff. The Invisigig by itself. So we'll see the connection information and we're going to do a speed test on it. And then we're going to connect the 4x4 blaster antenna, which is just outside the door here, facing in a direction that's pretty optimal. And we'll test the antenna on there to see how much better the Invisigig can get signal with the 4x4 blaster just to simulate any cellular device that you have, whether it be a, a 5G gateway from one of the cell carriers or your own third-party gateway or the Invisigig. And you want to be able to get better signal from indoors and the antennas by itself versus outdoors with an antenna facing your cell tower and how much of an improvement you could see both with the signal quality and the signal strength, but also possibly with your speeds. So let's test that right now. So we see we got the Invisigeek here. I've actually just got it connected to a router and then that is hooked up directly to my PC. And I've actually got screen captures of this. So with this hooked up like that, we're going to run a speed test. Actually, let's, let's show the live signal information and look at how absolutely not great this signal is. So you see here, we have not the best signal in the world. Pretty terrible. Uh, it's not the worst, but it, it's not great. Quality's not bad. Signal noise ratio is fair. But anyway, signal's not great. So we definitely want to see something better than that. We're not going to run this live while we're running our speed tests because it can take up resources. So we're going to go ahead. You see we're on T-Mobile for this one. Uh, the signal for T-Mobile is not great here. Neither are the speeds. But this is what they Invisigig set up like that. And looking at, not too bad. For this location, that's pretty good. 94, 95. Ping of 44. And <laughs> three, four megabits up. Maybe five. So 91, five. And let's look to see what's, what uh, bands it's looking at. So right now we're on LTE band two aggregated with two carriers of 5G in our 41. All right. So that is going to be for that. Now let's hook up. See, so we got the sun in our face. So here's a 4x4 four four blaster antenna. There you go. You see it's a blaster. We've already got it attached and running to... These are more blasters, by the way. Running to there. So we're going to attach that to our Invisigig now. I'm actually going to just pause and set this thing down and attach it. All right. So we've got our Invisigig here. Same... Same connection set up to the PC, and we're running out there, blinded by the sun, to the blaster antenna. And now we'll look at our modem signal information, and we can see much better. T Mobile is not the best here. Looks like it switched to band 66, stayed on dual 45, 41 for the 5G. So yeah, we'll see if 66 is any better. Not sure. 66 may be worse, actually. So it's not exact one-to-one, -one, but the modem decided it was going to do its own little changeover. So yeah, it looks like it does. Looks like it doesn't really like... There it goes FedEx. Doesn't really like that. 66 versus the two, but you see the signal quality, signal to noise ratio, and the signal power is much better. All 
All right. So you'll see those last two speed tests, we got a much better upload. So 66 definitely has a better upload, but the download's not as good on that going 66 to 41, 41 here. Signal stuff, look at that, way, way better. It's jumping around a little bit, but that's just because we're not doing any downloads. So it's much better than it was before. We're, we're even on our primary here. Looks like we're a little, a little bit of a range there between primary and secondary. But we're definitely doing a lot better with that. Let's run another speed test. We are looking right at the sun. So yeah, that's about, it looks like about the max that 66 is going to give. So actually, what am I doing? R while, mm -mm -mm. see, I made the mistake. You're not supposed to run the live signal during your speed test. There we go. Look at that. Way better. Way better. Much, much better. 167. So we we nearly doubled our speed on the download side. And with band 66, we've got a, a better, way, way, 10x better upload side. But that's a different band. That's not really a fair comparison. So, you know, we can do really quick, really easily. We can just lock out that band 66 and not let it use it. Just going to highlight this here. Right click, copy, LTE bands. We're going to lock out those. Right click, paste, go over to 66, delete that. Boom, 66 is gone. And then if we go to live signal, immediately you'll see that we're now back on band two. It doesn't even blip or think twice. And now we'll run a speed test again. Again, don't run it while you're running your live signal stats. And there we go, a little better, 100, 105. Looks like it peaked up at about 105. And then up, look at that, uploads way better. So yeah, just having the better signal stats absolutely gives you better speeds. Uh, and that's the 5G blaster there. Again, going back to live signal with band two. We're down in, we're in yellows. We could be in greens. Might be a little better in greens, but overall, you can see here that our signal strength or quality especially is better. Signal to noise ratio is way, way better than it was indoors. So this is a, this is a real test, a real check. We're not, we're not making up fancy fake solutions that, that aren't, aren't testing against reality situations. So is it, did it go from absolutely horrible to the cleanest, clear signal possible? No, because our cell tower for the uh, T-Mobile cell tower is not directly over there, right? We're just kind of generally pointed off. You see there's a cell tower right there? And I don't even really think that one's what's picking up on uh, AT&T. I think, or I'm sorry, T-Mobile. I think that's an AT&T Verizon tower. So even, so you can look I'll turn my, my antenna to where it's not facing that cell tower right there. And we look at our signal metrics and we see they actually got a little better. So I went away from where that physical tower is and it looks like my signal metrics are actually a, a hair better. And you can test this live. So again, don't, no, actually it looks like it dropped out a little bit. So. Yeah, it's real test, real live. But look, I'm getting even better speeds now. Fantastic. 175, 170 versus what we were getting before on the downlink. You bet. Way better. That antenna right there made all the difference. 166 and 35 up on the same bands. The same bands before, they were getting 80, 90. Look at this. Way, way better. Pings are even a little bit better. So we're probably getting a little bit better priority overall, but pings are better. 
speeds jumped up. We made sure that we were on the same band as we were down here. Earlier, it's a little bit of other testing. 426, 434, so right there. 91, 85, and then we changed over to the to make sure that we're on the blaster antenna. Way better speeds. Definitely on the upload side. We went from 3 and 5 up to 40, 38, 34, 35. So nearly a 10x on the upload and we we doubled our download speed just by going from indoors with really good quality antennas to outdoors with the 4x4 blaster antenna and I'm not even using the best quality cables these are LMR 200 cables at 20 feet and a whole bunch of adapters just to make it easy for me to hook up quickly so better quality cables with the proper direct connections and we may even get a little bit better. So can't really beat that Invisigig. Good setup to test this for because we can hook out really quick and we can change our bands super fast. It's just very easy to do everything you need to do to optimize your signal with the Invisigig. And then we've proven that the 4x4 blaster antenna compared to just having the unit indoors is a much, much bigger improvement using the exact same bands, testing on the exact same cell tower, making sure that everything is pretty much apples to apples or completely apples to apples, except for the antenna. That 4x4 signal brick really made a difference. Take care.